February is well known for two things. Magical groundhogs that can foresee the future of weather, and an entire day devoted to heart-shaped boxes of chocolate. Yes, Valentine's Day is upon us yet again, which is lovely for those of you who have a special someone in your lives. But for the rest of us who will surely die alone, it's more of an annoyance hearing about all of this love business. Thankfully, there's video games to help comfort us sad bastard, I mean single people by allowing us to date imaginary computer characters so we can simulate what it feels like to not be alone. So for all of us who won't be attempting to book a table at an overpriced restaurant at the last minute, I'm Jamie Latour, and here are five games that you can play on Valentine's Day that let you do some romancing. And when I say romancing, I'm using air quotes because you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Let's start the video. Let's start with the most romantic of time periods, Ancient Rome, and the most romantic of game franchises, Assassin's Creed. Okay, maybe Assassin's Creed isn't the first series you may think of when it comes to love, what with all the stabbing and such, but there is much romance to be had in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. While your main mission is about finding your family and taking down an evil cult that's causing chaos across the country, that doesn't mean that there isn't time to just bang a whole lot of people. You'll run into a bevy of overly attractive Greek people that you'll be willing to make time for in order to woo them in between your busy schedule of murder. Dating is surprisingly easy in this game. You just choose the dialogue option that's got the heart next to it, because the heart means love. Of course, dating is a bit more complicated than that as you'll need to complete tasks for your special friends before you can get down to business. This includes things like killing a giant boar or some mercenaries, or sometimes you won't even have to kill anyone, you'll just need to gather some items, like a bear scrotum. And if you get that scrotum, you'll get to do it with an old lady while her husband waits outside. And then afterwards, he'll pay you as thanks for satisfying his wife. I love Rome. I love it so much that I'll mention another game that's set there, Hades. This time, instead of being a boring old mortal, you get to be a god. A sexy god. In fact, pretty much every character in this game is sexy. The whole damn thing is just one giant thirst trap. Unfortunately, unlike Assassin's Creed Odyssey, your romance options are limited in Hades, since you know, you're related to like half the cast. So you can't just go after everyone in the game, which is a shame. One day I shall have you, Skelly. One day. But if you can't have quantity, at least you got some quality romanceable characters. As you can either date the hunky Grim Reaper, Thanatos, or Meg, who is your ex slash potentially future girlfriend slash first level boss that you have to fight a whole bunch, which kind of makes this whole thing seem a little bit awkward. You could even try to date a floating Gorgon head named Dusa, because Zagreus has some very eclectic tastes. Best of all, you could date the them all at the same time, because ancient Greece is very freaky. But enough about Rome, let's move on to an even sexier time and place, the 90s in fictional Los Angeles. There have been romance options in Grand Theft Auto games before, although they always tend to be rather sad, pointless, or they involve way too much bowling. Out of all the GTA games, the best one for romantical times is undeniably Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And not for the reason you're thinking of. San Andreas lets you date a wide array of interesting ladies with PlayStation 2 model faces. Some just want to go to a fancy restaurant. Some want to drive around indiscriminately shooting everyone who dares to walk on the street, successfully striking up a relationship with one of these eligible bachelorettes will even earn you perks and rewards. Which is the real reason that we all date, right? For perks and rewards? This might explain why all of my relationships have failed. So, in between stealing cars and starting gang wars, make sure to make some time for your dating life. And hey, don't forget to get that sex appeal stat up. Yes, there's actually a sex appeal stat in this game, and much like real life, mine is very low. 
Okay, so we've done past sexy times, present sexy times. Shut up. The 90s weren't 30 years ago. They're the present. They will always be the present. I am not that old. Shut up. Now let's do future sexy times. Cyberpunk 2077 is a game full of murder, drugs, and sexy robot people. Yeah, I love it when folks have metal embedded in their face and Christmas lights for eyeballs. Cyberpunk is another game with limited options for relationships, but by God, when you get a relationship going, you're gonna see some wild stuff. Like, very graphic, safe search, turned off, hide your monitor, oh God, why did you have to walk in on me during this cutscene kind of stuff. There's romance options for everyone in this game, and you should be able to find a suitor that's suitable for you. It's just sad that you can't do it with Keanu Reeves. Unless, of course, you know where to find that mod. And finally, we have the truest form of love that you can find in a video game. Space Love. The Mass Effect trilogy is everyone's favorite series of epic sci-fi action-adventure games slash workplace romance simulators. Commander Shepard may have the stressful task of taking down a race of sentient spaceships that have been exterminating all intelligent life in the galaxy in a perpetual cycle every 50,000 years. But that doesn't mean that they can't make time to get it on with one of their crewmates. I'm sure the Reapers will wait politely while I try to date my space secretary. Now, in the other games I've mentioned, you can date gods or robo-people, but Mass Effect one-ups every other game in the romance department by letting you date attractive aliens. You could go full Captain Kirk and date a blue lady, or if you like mystery and the inability to touch your spouse, you could date Tally. Or if you like choosing the correct answer, you can date Garrus, which gives you a great cutscene of Morden trying to figure out how you two can copulate without killing each other with your gross, incompatible bodies. There's so many options for romance in this series. You can even choose from a variety of lame humans. Did anyone actually date the Freddy Prince Jr. guy with the mohawk? Because that's the wrong answer. So now, you don't need to be alone on Valentine's Day, because you can strike up a passionate affair with one of these games. That's just as good as a real relationship. <laughs> just as good. Almost as good. It's... it's good. Everything's good. For more gaming news and guides, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching. And now I'm going to go reinstall Tinder on my phone for like the 15th time.